what is up you guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to trim your beard from home how to fade it how to line it up how to use a straight razor so stick around guys i'm gonna drop some gems for you guys i'm using my self-cut system 360 sided mirror to really get the best angles possible for all my self-cut grooming needs so the first thing that we're gonna do guys is we're gonna comb out our beard so the size of my beard is around maybe i'd like to say a three or a three and a half so i'm gonna go in with the number two guard with the lever open which this creates the two and a half and i'm just gonna be hitting those darker areas at the bottom of my beard because i do want my beard to grow out a lot thicker we all have different genetics in terms of where our beard grows the thickest and for me in particular it grows thickest towards the bottom of my jawline and it's a lot lighter in towards the top of my beard so that's why i'm just going in with the two and a half in the bottom to give my lighter spots room for them to grow into the darker spots and after that guys you guys want to grab your comb and recomb that area so you have a nice clean canvas to work with and when you go in with your trimmer you want to make sure that you're going as natural as possible i'm aiming right there with my finger i already have my outline so then go ahead and grab your trimmer and start chipping away at just creating that nice clean rough draft of your neck lineup Once we outline the edges of our beard, now our beard is a lot cleaner so we can go in and start fading it. What we're going to do is we're going to separate our sideburn area from our beard area. And I just pretend that you're going to give yourself sideburns and create about a finger, an index finger of a guideline with your trimmer. This is the zero and we're going to start our blending process of the beard doing one finger guidelines so now we're going to open up the lever putting our lever in that position that creates the half so we're going to go in with our machine with our magic clip and just get start a guideline that's one finger thick with our lever open what you do on one side you want to do it on the other it's all about precision and time so this takes me about five to ten minutes to do and right now what we're going to do is to close the open lever method we're going to close our lever we're going to baby tap the beginning of that guideline so barely hit that beginning of the guideline with the lever closed this is in its sharpest position our machine is the sharpest it can be so after that guys we're going to do it on both sides and we're going to open up the lever little by little and go higher into the guideline so this is called the closed to open lever method now we're going to put our lever in the middle and go a tiny bit higher into the guideline so this is going to complete our blending process for the first guideline After completing that first guideline guys the second step is going to be to use our one guard with the lever open this creates the one and a half guys we're going to create a one finger guideline again so go in with your clipper and then you want to make sure you have a brush to just brush brush the sides if, and just in case you have to get rid of some hair and just make sure your guideline is completely consistent and after that we're going to do the close to open lever method guys this means we're going to close our lever right there we're going to baby tap the beginning of the guideline and as we go higher into the beard we're going to keep opening up the lever little by little until our lever is completely open but we're not going past that one finger guideline zone so stay within your fading zone and we're going to keep repeating this process because on the next step we're going to use the 0.5 guard and do the same thing the close to open lever method so you have to think about this guard as the finisher for our one guard with the lever open guideline. 
our guideline is not completely blended there's still a slight line right there guys and we have about half a finger of room to work with with this guard it's super important that you guys just stay as tight as possible when you guys are using the 0.5 guard This is the last step guys using a 1.5 guard. I'll probably get comments um, in the comment section saying do I need a 0.5 and a 1.5 guard? Yes, you do need these guards. It's super important to complete any haircut, self cut, anything. Just buy these on Amazon guys. They're not that expensive. We're doing the close to open lever method here guys to finalize our beard fade. So the reason why I don't go higher in any guards is because I use the two guard to just um, to get rid of some bulk. So in reality, we're not going to be using any other guard besides anything below the two guard to line up the mustache. Just baby tap your mustache, guys. You're not supposed to really go hard in these areas. It's really easy to mess up your mustache. I'm using the corners of my of my trimmers. Just get a feel of your trimmer. If it's not cutting, try to angle it in a different way. So the teeth of the machine can really just create a nice crispy lineup. So right here guys to use our straight razor make sure you guys load your straight razor we're gonna hold it at a 45 degree angle guys and I'm using my other hand to stretch the skin and I'm blowing a bubble to create pressure on the skin so there's a smoother surface of me using my straight razor so you guys can use um, a shaving gel I prefer a drive shave just because it gives me more control and just I just like keeping my beard as thick as possible I've had moments where I do nick myself I do cut myself because I do decide to go dry so it's up to you guys it's up to your preference and it's up to your skill set level if you don't feel comfortable doing that don't do it guys We're almost done with completing our beard service, guys. We're gonna use our scissors and just get rid of those little extra hairs that stick out. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you guys get a beard, a beard trimmer lineup, there's always those little hairs on, on the edges that stick out. You know, you guys can see the nice crispy beard fade, the lineup. So this is just perfect, guys, if you guys are going on a date or you got a special occasion and you know you're gonna wear a hat or a beanie or something and you just want your beard to look nice and fresh. This is a perfect video to watch and just go and try it out guys it took me about five to ten minutes to finish my beard service and it just lasts me a while and i don't have to pay for it so there's too many benefits for me trying and a lot of negatives for me not trying so i appreciate you guys for watching this video all the way through i do have the full transformation of me doing my my taper blowout so if you guys do want to watch that full video let me know down below in the comment section i don't know if i'm going to drop it i'm still skeptical but either way guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in and giving me the love and support i'll catch you guys on the next video peace